Hi friends, Erica here, back with day nine of the 31 days of Spooky Scraps. Today's prompt is candles slash sense of the season. I have the wonderful Jojo Kelly joining me today, so please check her out in the links below on Instagram and send her some love. If you see a sink to my right, that is correct. We have a bit of a change in venue today because as many exciting things are happening to our family, one of them is potty training a toddler. So today, scrapping will be working around that. Also today, I I will be adding a different format to my series. This is going to be an eight and a half by 11 inch page. It's going to be a grid format where the entire photo is the background as well as the feature to the page. I'm pretty excited. I have never made a page like this before, so I'm just kind of crossing my fingers and hoping it works out. So to start, I have actually adhered the entire page to my cutting mat because I will be cutting into this. I don't want to accidentally move or lose some of my squares or strips. So once I adhered that to my mat, I took my ruler and cut off the edges of my photo. And I did about a quarter inch on top and bottom as well as left and right. And I did a little bit under two inch squares going width wise and a little bit over two inches going height wise. And now that I marked my lines, I'm now going to go back and actually score another set of lines and they are going to be about a quarter of an inch as well and hopefully once i am done i am able to remove these all oh, looks great so far strips and you'll be able to see the mat through so you'll be actually able to see the grid and hopefully I will be able to neatly transfer all of these pieces over to my eight and a half by 11 black cardstock over here to the right. A little bit of backstory to the photo. These books I got at a book sale when I first got to Seattle. It was Friends of the Library and I got them for about $2 each. And it was in the rare vintage find section and I'm so excited because they actually turned out to be about 200 years old each. And I'm just so excited because they smell amazing. And along with our pumpkins that we grew this year, as well as some candles and some regular house plants we have along, it just smells really, really heavenly in our living room. So now I am adding this title, Magic. I just found it on those regular free cut file sites. I personally have a Cricut Maker, so I was looking for something in the format of SVG. If for some reason you need any help finding a way to convert files over to SVG, I do have a tutorial on my challenge. I call it a, a quick Cricut hack, so you should definitely go ahead and check that out. So I use these Felicity Jane Puffy Alphas and I absolutely love them but I feel like they're getting lost amidst the black card stock. So I did mount them on this little strip which I am sliding underneath my title partially just to um, give it a little bit of interest and I decide to actually make a matching strip below. So the title will read my favorite kind of magic, The Scent of Fall and old books, pumpkin, rain, leaves. Absolutely loving it up here in Seattle right now. And that's pretty much it. A relatively quick, <laughs> relatively easy layout. Hope you enjoyed watching and I hope you play along with us for the rest of the month of the 31 Days of Spooky Scraps. Bye!